Welcome back, guys. This is the one-year update of our 41-way ceramic coatings and sealants longevity test. Springtime is upon us here in Texas, and temperatures are starting to rise. They are predicting this is going to be a pretty hot summer in Texas, so we'll see if this is going to affect anything. A quick reminder, if there is a product you want to see tested in the future, let me know in the comments, but also check the spreadsheet in the video description first to make sure I haven't already tested it. I do like to test every product at least twice to ensure consistent and reliable results. If you would like to purchase any of these products, please consider doing so through the links in the video description as 100% of the money that this channel makes goes right back into buying more products to test. We'll foam this hood down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then of course rinse everything off to inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying everything off. So with that out of the way, let's see how things are getting on. You have heard me talk about in updates past, I regret using a silver hood so I have adjusted it in post to make it show up a little easier. C Quartz Finest Reserve, C Quartz Professional, both look like they're hanging in there. C Quartz Professional has always appeared a little bit more hydrophobic than C Quartz Reserve. Reserve is getting pretty tired here at the one year mark. DPC, T3 and T9, both of those looking all right. And Apex Metal Oxide, it's got some wear on it made by Art to Shine. Still looks like it's doing all right though. Nanoskin Ultra T1 and T3 Pro, they are very weak. We're getting really close to calling those failed, but you can see that it eventually does shed the water. It's not holding onto it like a product that has failed. So we'll give them a pass this month, but it's getting pretty close. NGNT Pro 1K, it's also sort of in the same boat there. It does hold the water for a little bit before it finally sheets. Pretty close to failure there. NGNT Pro 1K, still looking hydrophobic. Avalon King getting pretty close as well. You can see it's starting to look a little tired. Nano Age, Nano Bond, it's our cheap Chinese coating from Amazon that's something like $18 to $25 depending on the time you look at it. It's still hanging in there. Waregion 10H, sort of like a uh, Avalon King there. It's, it's showing some wear, but it's still hanging in there. Drive Auto Nano 9H, looks like it's doing all right. Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating, still looking good too. That's been an impressive product for me. Especially it's something you can pick up at your local big box store or AutoZone and they've cut the price in half of it too. If you buy it on Amazon, it is a little more expensive because it has hazardous shipping. Underdog Sauce Pro, still looking okay. Glosset 10H, also kind of about the same boat there. Glosset 5H, actually looks a little bit more hydrophobic than the 10H product just ever so slightly. NGK, NG, T, NGNT Pro 2K, still hydrophobic, and their Pro 3K, which is their flagship coating, very hydrophobic. That's a multiple layer coating. I think it's four, five, six layers, something like that. Griot's three in one, we're gonna call it failed. Made it to the year mark. We've tested it a couple other times, and that's pretty much consistent with what we're seeing. If you live in a wintry environment, you may expect six to eight months. Here in Texas, pretty close to a year or around that. G-Technic Ultra, professional only, still looking hydrophobic. IGL Premier, which is a six month sealant, it's still hanging in there and in test pass, it has also been around the 12 to 14 month mark before it fails, if I can get my camera to focus here. So it's getting pretty close, but it's not quite failed. And Owner's Pride, very, very close to failing. It's probably gonna be next month based on what I'm seeing here. Yep, I think we'll, we'll give it a pass this month, but it's getting real close. Lone Star Pre-Production, it's still hanging in there. IGL Easy Graphene, which is rated for one year. Here it is a year and it's still doing okay. Chemical Guys Carbon Force, $150 ceramic coating. It's looking okay, it's a little bit weak. 
and Ammo Reflex Pro. You guys need to correct me if I'm wrong, but I know he has a product that sheets and a product that beads. This is supposed to be the product that beads, right? It's been looking that way since about 30 days. It was hydrophobic at first and then it became where it started sheeting. I don't know, if you want me to call that failed, I can call it failed, but for right now, Grios is the only failure to add this month at the one year mark. So again, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Make sure you're subscribed. And if you wanna buy any of these, please consider doing so through the links in the video description.